Today's narrative can be found in the Bible, in John chapter 1. Please read this passage for yourself. The events in this episode happened around the year 26 AD in the land beyond the Jordan. Today's proverb is, investigate Jesus, then bring your family to him. It's time for the narrative. Let's learn. Remember how last episode ended? John the baptizer was standing with two of his disciples named John and Andrew. Then Jesus passed by them and John the baptizer shouted, Behold the Lamb of God. The two disciples were amazed because they had just seen the Messiah walk by with their own eyes. He was the one who was promised to come and save his people Israel. So, these two young men decide to walk behind Jesus, see where he is going, and investigate him. <laughs> it must have been funny seeing these two young men, probably both awkward teenagers, walking behind Jesus. They do not come up and speak to him, no, they simply stay behind him. Jesus sees the two guys following him. They are like lost sheep looking for a shepherd. So Jesus stops, looks at them and says, what are you looking for? They say, Rabbi, which means teacher, can you tell us where you are staying? Jesus says, come and see. So the three of them walk to a house where Jesus is staying at. These two young men are investigating Jesus to see if he really is the Messiah. After spending the day talking with him, they know that Jesus truly is the Christ, the Son of God. As soon as they leave the house, Andrew goes running to find his brother Simon. Both brothers work as fishermen. Andrew finds Simon and says, we have found the Messiah. The word Messiah also means Christ. Simon is so excited that he goes with his brother to meet Jesus. Jesus meets with the brothers. He then looks at Simon and says, You are Simon, the son of Jonah, but you will be called Peter. Jesus gives Simon a new identity. His new name is Peter, which means rock. You see, Jesus is the chief cornerstone, and Peter will be the rock which builds his life on Jesus, the cornerstone. Jesus invites Simon, Andrew, and John to a wedding in Cana. So the next day, they start out on their journey to the wedding. Jesus' brothers, sisters, and mom will be there also. And who knows? Maybe Jesus will do his first miracle there, too. So, what can we learn from today's narrative? Well, today's proverb is, Investigate Jesus, then bring your family to him. You see, Andrew was a wise man, and you should be like him. Why? Because he spent time with Jesus to understand his identity. You can spend time investigating Jesus' identity by reading the Bible. You see, after Andrew understood who Jesus was, he brought his brother to the Messiah. This would one day change the world. Peter would one day become the leader of the church, and he would become a rock built upon the foundation of Jesus, the chief cornerstone. Andrew's simple act of bringing his brother to Jesus would change history forever. You know, I challenge you to invite your family to meet Jesus by saying, come and see. Who knows? Maybe you'll be like Andrew and bring someone to Jesus who will change our world. So take today's proverb, turn it into a question, and ask yourself, do I investigate Jesus and bring my family to him? So, what happens next? Jesus is about to do his first miracle. But before he does, he is going to call two more young men to follow him. What are their names? Well, you can read about it in John chapter 1, or you can watch the next episode. However, the best option is to do both. <laughs>
Remember this, kids. It's the allergy for everyday life for kids. You don't forget to eat your mama's dessert. So don't forget this name. It's the allergy for everyday life for kids. It's not for Rob the Raccoon. You hear me, Rob? Or should I say Bob? As always, my videos, PowerPoints, curriculum, coloring pages, and worksheets are free. Follow the link in the description below to download them.